If there's a dish that LA does just so much better than New York City, it's gotta be the breakfast burrito. So I'm in LA on the hunt for the best of the best. Along for the ride to most of these spots is in Yorkshire, AKA what we butter as we look for the top six breakfast burritos in LA. So first up is Sydney's favorite, the rooster. What started as a food truck, uh, the breakfast burritos have brought them so much popularity that they have now expanded into a full brick and mortar. We went with the Riga Suave, as they call it, the dopest of all breakfast burritos. Uh, it starts with two fried eggs, tater tots, and then on a massive flour tortilla, uh, two slices of cheddar, tortilla cheese, avocado. And then on top of that goes those tots, the eggs, their cilantro cream, and bacon. Then something I've never seen before, the entire burrito is dipped into butter and put back on a flat top to just like come together. Let's see it, there we go, oh yeah. I mean, I really don't know what else you want in a breakfast burrito. To make it feel good, some of the salt and fat, and cheese and eggs and all the crunch and aspirin. And the cilantro crema kind of running through this one, I'd like much more than me trying to add it myself. Fucking good, I just wanna try it with the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite in LA. Right? I did tell you this is my favorite exactly. breakfast burrito mm -hmm. in LA. Everything you need. Eggs, and it's kind of scrambled, so sometimes you get like a little bit of like a jammy ish yolk in there. Avocado, bacon, crispy hash browns, cheddar cotija, and like Jeremy said, that cilantro crema kind of just like cuts through all that bodiness and richness. I'm gonna eat it like this. <laughs> You might have got a better bite, but I still think my approach wasn't so bad. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. Also, I didn't know this before, I just saw them do it. A little butter tortilla seal. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. Next up is Milpa Grill, serving his breakfast burrito from Machine that's available every weekday until 2 p.m. This bad boy is filled with eggs, tots, Swiss, tortilla, salsa, and then you get to pick a protein. I absolutely recommend going with the birria. The meat's so tender, so flavorful. I like with the salsa, I like a little more heat. It worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. It's fucking good, it's right? It's so good. Mm -hmm. And the egg is like actually soft. It's really fluffy. And I feel like it's really hard to find that in a breakfast mm -hmm. burrito because they usually get too hard. Oh my god. For the most authentic breakfast burrito, you have to get to Tacos Via Corona. There are a bunch of options, uh, so go with what you were in the mood for, but you order the Papa's burrito with eggs, potato, cheese, onions, cilantro, salsa, and then we pick chorizo. But that looks nice. That's fucking gold. Yeah. I like the tortilla. Mm -hmm. I do kind of like the mush. Like, I appreciate a mushy burrito. Mm -hmm. But the chorizo is banging. I like the chorizo. I like the eggs. I do think that like the whole spot, the whole feel, the whole thing feels mm -hmm. like very authentic. Oh, for sure. Probably like if I was like, oh, maybe like give me a little more eggies in there, but like mm -hmm. that's it. Solid. Yeah. All right. Wake and Late was probably the most recommended breakfast burrito, and I can see why. Uh, this downtown takeout only burrito has six options to choose from, and we went with the classic with bacon that comes with eggs, tots, cheddar, avo, cotilla, and of course that bacon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. oh, okay, okay. Cheers. Ready? Wow, you really put a lot on there. <laughs> no denying that's good. Does. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. It is. I love salt. It's very salty. Mm -hmm. I think with the potatoes and the bacon, maybe it's too much salt. But I mean, love the texture of the the tater tots. Mm -hmm. I think a breakfast burrito needs a crunchy potato, and a tater tot is the ideal. And I think I wonder if it's better with hot sauce. You wanna try it? Yeah. I think it needs a little, a little bit. Some of the Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay, a little. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Can't do anything. Not <laughs> All right. Mmm. Mm hmm. That was better. I like that better than mm. the Sancho. This has some good heat. I kind of taste like orange. I was going to say a little fruity. Right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Damn good. Yeah. Okay. Debate me if you want on if this really counts as a breakfast burrito. But just to switch it up, um, you need this pine and crane thousand layer pancake that is wrapped up uh, with egg, cheese, Thai basil, and chili sauce. Mm. I love how goddamn crispy and chewy it is. And the American cheese with the chili oil. How is it? Perfect. Oh, good. All Good Things has everything from coffee to natural wine to these breakfast burritos. You have your choice of meats, and they will even double up like I'm doing here with the bacon and sausage. Uh, eggs are poured right onto that meat mixture so that they can cook and melt together. Tots are fried and then smashed and crisp up even more on a flat top before being added right on top of those eggs. The whole thing is placed onto a tortilla with avocado before being folded up and going back on a flat top. Choose your hot sauce and go to town. Definitely the creamiest eggs I've had. Love the bacon, love the sausage in there. A little cilantro salsa thing too. That might be my favorite of the ones that I've had also. Mm. Just like a perfect cohesive bite. Dude, if, ever, if anyone in New York is watching, make these. It's not that hard. And it just makes sure you have good ingredients and execution and doing it. Oof. And I like the way that Tater Tots make you like little hash browns when they crush them down the flat top also. Dude, it's so good. Mmm. All right, my favorite, I think it's gotta be Milba Grill. I just absolutely love that area. Cindy is sticking with her favorite, the rooster, but let us know in the comments what your favorite is and what we missed.